I think tonight that the services of the Isle of Man, fire, civil defence, and the police and the general public have been extremely helpful. There has been a, a complete freedom of movement in the Summerland area uh, by the major services that have been involved. And that was largely due to the fact that diversions were put on and that we did have the cooperation of the general public. Tomorrow morning, the same situation really exists. Summerland obviously is gutted. It can be in a very dangerous state. And by daylight, of course, we shall be able to see much more. But tomorrow morning and throughout tomorrow, diversions will still operate. And we would ask people approaching Douglas from the Onken direction uh, or wishing to go towards the White City to avoid the promenade in the Summerland area. Certainly, if you try to get through, you'll be stopped by police. It is necessary to do this because, obviously, tomorrow morning and throughout the day, um, there will be inspections of the building from a safety point of view, and, of course, the police inquiries and fire inquiries that have to go on are, are best done without interference from the general public. So I know that tomorrow morning and throughout the day, people will want to see the damage at Summerland. That's understood. I would ask you to cooperate with the police and keep away as far as you can from the site of the building um, so that we do continue to do our work with a reasonable amount of peace. It's a very sad occasion. There's a lot of work to be done and I ask for the general cooperation of the public. That was a statement issued by the Chief Constable of the Isle of Man, Mr Frank Whedon, at one o'clock this morning. Manx Radio's Alan Jackson was at the scene of the fire minutes after it started, and here now is his report. There's absolute pandemonium here. The Summerland is ablaze and blazing down. There's absolute... The fire is spreading very rapidly indeed, and it would seem that one of the slot machines has caught fire and started to blaze. And it's obvious that the whole place... Have you any idea how it started, love? Pardon? Have you no. any idea how it started? Not at least. No. Do you have any idea, no sir? Idea. No idea. No idea. You don't know where it started? No. Thank no. you. Excuse me, sir. Are, are you an official of Summerland? Pardon? Are you an official here? No, sir. You don't know how it started? No. No, no idea. What? There is absolute panic here at Summerland. People are running all over the place. And it would seem... Have you any idea how it started, sir? No, no idea. No? Sorry? A machine outside and the concrete roof sorted off. And the, uh, the, the machine outside in the concrete roof? Uh, it short-circuited. It did? Uh, and the chaps getting the house pipe out. I helped them with the house pipe to get out. <laughs> and then it's... Then it's another machine started inside after. Yes, so it was an electrical fault, do you reckon? Electrical fault, huh? Yeah. And, and, and it, it's all right. No, it's, it's, and what, um, were there many people around when it started? Oh, yes, it was packed all right. Yeah. And um, in what department was this? On the roof? On the roof, on the flat roof outside. Yes. Outside where the machines are, you know. There uh, seems to be lots and lots of people in the place. Oh, there is. There are, of course. Now, what time, what time do you reckon this was? I mean, it's, uh, it's ten, five past eight now, isn't oh, it? Oh, 25 minutes. About 25 minutes. No, five minutes. Oh, five minutes. Five, five minutes. Five to six so minutes. So it's just started in actual fact. Yes, sir. Five minutes. And the, uh, the, the uh, fire engine has just arrived. Well, the fire people are here at the present moment in time. And it looks as if uh, most of the people are getting away very safely. Well, the problem is now that it's really belching the way. Oh, there's fire brigade at the top now. There's another, there's another uh, fire engine coming along. Here comes the police now. The heat is, is starting to build up now, and we're a good 100 yards away, at least 200 yards away from the flames, and the heat is starting to build up even as I speak to you right now. It looks as if there's no hope for Summerland, without a shadow of a doubt. People are calling all over the place, looking round for children and... And families are split up, but this has obviously come as a shock to a great number of people. Yes, sir. What happened there? I don't know. We had to jump from the top floor to the next. You had to jump, did you? Was it? Uh, what started the panic? I don't know. It was just smoke pouring. Yes. 
Daddy. And whereabouts were you on the building? Up on the top. Right on the top floor. Yeah. Is all your family safe? Yeah, you're all right, are you? We don't know. We don't know who she belongs to. She was nearly getting trampled on her. You're all right, are you, love? Yes. Yes, good. We don't know her name. No. Well, the place to go will be a Douglas Police Station, or indeed any police officer, or indeed just a. Where was the fire? To hang around. This is the thing Let's that... Get away from it. Yes, indeed. Keep moving. Oh, All right, love. Oh, Yes, he's, he's, there's lots of children coming down with other people, you see. Lots of children are coming down. They are, they are handling them. You're all right. Oh, no, 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 no. There are lots of people coming down. You're all right, my love. Oh. Hello. Are you all right? You obviously been by the fire, sir. Seems that the majority of people are away from the place. Although there is great confusion around the place. Everybody's looking for children. This, of course, is the main thing. But now there seems to be a certain amount of calm coming over the place with the majority of the people away from the main building. But this is, of course, very important that children are kept safe. There are lots of children in other parents' arms. And the problem is trying to find the right parents. Summerland is really ablaze now. It really is blackening the sky here in Douglas Harbour. The flames are roaring out of the windows. Those people on the stairs, did yes. they get out? Well, it, it looks that, that way, you know, we'll have to keep our fingers... There are officials up on the roof up there, and uh, we look that there's a certain amount of calm on the roof now. Certainly with so, with so many holidaymakers having a good time, and then suddenly this should arise, the place was packed, and it really is now absolutely ablaze. As I say, there is a certain amount of calm on the platform stairs going up now. The officials seem to have... The officials seem to be in some kind of control, and they are now kind of herding the crowd around, with the police trying to ferry the people around. There are lots of, obviously... There's been a tremendous crash at Summerland just happened now, and obviously due to the pressure. There are people all over the place, waiting, looking for relatives or friends of people of the family. Certainly Douglas has never witnessed a, an experience like this before.